yes it is day 11 so that means i have nine days remaining on the detox do you need a good laugh today how about a place to chill well come get your giggle pill <laughs> right here it's experience subscribe today Can y'all see me? Of course you can. <laughs> Ooh, my dimples come in more. What? Okay, I had a, another off-scale victory. Oh, shoot. Hold on one second. I didn't drop my keys on the floor. I you were the basketball player. I hope that she Kim Kardashian the way up. Don't know the difference between a touchdown and a layup. Got you on Viagra in order for you to stay up. I may sound better. I'm a little bitter. It's, it's still in the knee situation. I can't squat. You know, like somebody can squat down and pick up a piece of paper. I have to just bend over and hope that my arms reach the floor, which they usually do, but it's it's kind of taxing on me because I should be able to, to you know, bend my knees and, and reach down and get what I'm trying to get. So today, I dropped something on the floor, and I was like, I was like, Leah, just try. You know, just try. So... I squatted, I didn't go all the way down, you know, but I went down and I picked the paper up and it, it, I wasn't in pain. That's the thing. I would avoid it because it would be so much pain. And I got so used to avoiding that, that my knees had, you know, a mind of their own where they would be like, oh, we don't squat. We don't, we don't bend over and do this. So we don't do it, you know, and, um, <laughs> Today, I did it, you know, I did it, and then, then as I'm walking out the door, I'm like, do it again, <laughs> you know, talking to myself, I was like, do it again, so I threw the paper back on the floor, and I was like, oh, I dropped something, you know, just acting stupid with myself, yeah, yeah, I do that, and um, so I pick, I, I bent down, and I pick it up, I picked it up, but, you know, I, I, I bent my knees to do it, so, you know, and my knees are, I don't know, they feel stronger, they feel they just feel better and I'm like I'm tripping I'm like so freaking tripping like seriously because for years I haven't been able to do that for years I've been in pain like constantly with my knees and and you just don't know what it feels like to not have that pain like I did and to be able to bend my knees like I used to when I was younger and I just want to make a statement. A young man did a video yesterday on YouTube, which he decided he doesn't really want to go into that subject because it really is like too late in the game for it, basically. But we're sitting up here with these ailments and these issues and these diseases that these doctors have told us we have. And then they give us these medications that are supposed to help us with these diseases. And the medications are doing nothing but making us sicker. They might relieve the pain or, or the, the problem in the original situation, but... I'm Salt Lake City, now I'm up on out the picture Remember how it was when I was with ya Baby, sex so good I had to turn the camera off I would have left it on, but it was an older couple And they was looking at me like I was, you know, you know, older people and younger people If they look weird, they'd be looking at you like What are they gonna do to me? So what I was saying Excuse me With the experience what I was saying, these medications are not helping us. They're making us sicker. So then you get these side effects from the medications you're taking to fix this disease. And like he was saying, the side effects are really new diseases. You just make, and disease is nothing but the words dis ease. 
That's what disease is. You have a dis-ease of something in your body. I just... It's, it's so horrible. The propaganda and the bullshit that we believe is making us feel better and making us not sick anymore. And it's just making us worse. I mean, think about it. These doctors have to have people sick. They have to have people sick so they can capitalize on pharmaceutical companies and medications and treatments. And, you know, it, it has to be that way in order for them to make their money. They will be out of jobs. It's job security. Do you remember? But because so many people are sucked into this bullshit, it, it works. It, it's going to keep on working because everybody's not going to sit up here and say, you know what, I believe natural stuff can help me. I believe um, natural herbs from the earth can do something good for me. People are just not going to do it. And it's a mind. It, we've been conditioned to believe certain things from, from the time that we were born. And, you know, I guess if everybody was an herbalist and if everybody was into eating natural stuff and, and, and recognizing what certain vegetables are, they do for certain organs in the body and different things like that, I guess if everybody was doing that, then, you know, nobody would have a job, I guess. I don't know. The basketball player yeah. was all turned out time. I hope you This detox is really cleaning out my system of impurities and, and toxins. Along with eating these raw foods, I'm seeing miraculous ass things happen. Oh, I'm a personal witness to this shit. Stuff that I would read about and 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 watch documentaries and 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 you know look up in in go to the library and look up online and whatever the case may be and I would even hear testimonies from other people now I'm a fucking witness to it personally I don't know what else to say about that shit I, I'm, I'm actually seeing my body be healed from not any medications from a doctor not any things that are unnatural Oh, I've been having all natural, these pills that I'm taking, they're all natural herbs. You can look up every name of every herb that's in these pills and see what they're good for. They're all, they're 100% they're vegetarian pills. And granted, I'm sick of fucking taking them. I'm sick of taking 30 pills a day. But if but to see what it's doing for me, I do this shit another twenty days. You just you just you don't feel me. You don't feel me. You don't hear me though. And then it's like I have friends, I have family members, you know, people I'm close to that are going through these issues, and they can fix all of this shit on their own without this raggedy ass deteriorating demoralizing fucked up medication that's my rant for today so let me go home so I can show y'all what I got to eat yummy yummy only thing that's a little disappointing is the lady that owns this place agreed to, to do an interview with me and I called her left a message I text her and that's what she said to do call and text me and um, she hasn't replied or, you know, responded or anything. And I know things can get busy. I will maybe try again this week, you know. and Because um, it would be nice to interview somebody like that for at least for Hugh or something. So, yeah. When I get back to the house, um, other than that, hey, March the 1st up in this piece. <laughs> Ooh, pretty.
Okay, today is Raw Delights. Pineapple, I'm pretty sure you know what that is. That's my raw um, energy mix with the raisins and the nuts. That is some more bean thread, the, the uh, raw pasta. That is broccoli salad, which has tomatoes and onions, and it's just delicious. This, I forgot the name of it. It had a weird name, but it has peppers, tomatoes, onions celery yeah and then it has this wonderful seasoning that tastes like it might be cayenne pepper in it but it's not too spicy or either my palate or my mouth or i've just changed to where spicy stuff is not like tripping with me grapes gotta have some grapes and i got some bean sprouts because I like bean sprouts in salad, so I got that so I can make me a salad with some bean sprouts in it. And they're just fun to eat, just you know, because they're real crunchy and fun. Um, OMG, I'm about to eat. Um, but before I eat, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She ignores you every single time you call her. Brand new, new, we gotta have it. Spend your money on her when you want to hit it. She acting like she don't want to. Amazing. I'm so glad refrigerators exist because I bought all that food and I'm not hungry. My appetite's not what it used to be, like at all. Like, I don't know. Am I eating to live? Living to eat? Eating just so I can get a little bit of nourishment. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, well, I'm not living to eat. That's definitely not the case. Stay, baby. This is raw anyway. <laughs> That's the other awesome part. It is raw. I eat, you know, I have something to eat on the next few days. Which is good, uh, because today is day 11! things have changed like decisions that I've made that I made before I went on the detox have like done a 360 since I've been on the detox because I just I don't know I have a clearer thinking process and I can like really like weigh pros and cons of things and and just have a different outlook on things and I, it just it's amazing so a lot of things that I was like oh I gotta do this or I, I need to do this no, I don't. No, I don't. I can take this heartache, baby. This heartache of mine. Oh, I. Oh, it's that I can find a way. Oh, baby. With that. Uh-uh. No, we're not doing this through the whole thing. No. I'm going to get out of here because you've already seen enough of me as it is today. I can't, you know, my channel, I can't go over 15 minutes. So, you know, if it get to 15, you know, I had a lot of footage. You know, I had a lot of footage. But I need to love. You don't love me Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Peace. Let's do this. Peace.